Understanding where on the information cycle your article was generated helps you assess its value to your research. Here we will break down this well-known graphic into working parts while using a historic event. The red arrow depicts time moving left to right. Note that the top row denotes the kinds of information you can expect to see over time from initial reaction to a set of conventional facts. Below the red arrow is a breakdown of source types as they emerge in time. Let's use one historic event to illustrate our point. August 29, 2005, Hurricane Katrina made landfall devastating the city of New Orleans and its surrounding area. The first information from New Orleans was composed of reaction. Social media, eyewitness accounts, and local news on TV and radio consist of an emotional response to the event. Assumptions and rumors are made based on experience. People react to individual trauma and create raw, sometimes volatile, statements. Within hours, local government officials have gathered enough facts to determine a response and make public statements on local news sources. As more facts emerge, the response changes. Reporters provide commentary on the current reaction. Newspaper articles emerge the next and following days. They are generally short and written by journalists relying on what's known at the, at the time. Often, portions of newspaper articles are retracted as new facts emerge. Daily news reporters don't have time to fully research the news they report, but instead follow leads and hunches. Weeks later, in-depth magazine articles appear. Journalists have more time to fact-check, verify sources, and provide analysis and commentary. Magazine articles are written for the general population and may be thematic in scope, concentrating on one area within a larger story. Next, scholarly articles get published. These articles go through the peer review process, which can take months or years to occur. The writers are scholars within a specific discipline. Their analyses do not necessarily provide new facts, but rather dissect them through an analytical filter. The articles are usually long and hard to read. In this case, economic, political, industrial, and public health analyses provide entirely different commentary and are written to inform scholars and add new knowledge within a subject's field. Lengthier treatments of the events find their way into books, which appear months and years later. Treatments range from eyewitness accounts to in-depth scholarly analysis to children's books. Lastly, Encyclopedic entries provide summary information about the events, sometimes paired with generally adopted commentary. An event's inclusion into encyclopedia takes several years to happen, with the exception of Wikipedia, which is constantly changing. New information is continually being created about a past event and can appear in any of the media on the spectrum. Be conscious of when an article was created within the information cycle. Do you have questions? please feel free to contact the library for help.